The other big story at the top of the Wall Street Journal today, Hugo Chavez, the Venezuelan leader, dies at 58. Not exactly surprising. He was sick for a long time. However, this has obviously thrown Venezuelan politics into, uh, I don't want to say chaos, but uh, tizzy might be a way to describe it. What does it mean for Venezuela? What does it mean for the United States? We're lucky to have with us this morning Diane Negroponte of Brookings Institute to talk to us about this one. Uh, Diane, let's start with the U.S., right? We've had a obviously contentious relationship with Hugo Chavez. What does this mean for U.S.-Venezuelan relations? There's hope that under a new leader we can turn to a more pragmatic relationship with Venezuela. The rhetoric has been a nuisance, but underlying it is a Venezuelan production of oil, refineries in the Gulf Coast, and the purchase of foods, medicines, clothing, spare parts by Venezuelans from us. That pragmatic underlying economic reality could now be recognized. Mm. And, and when you talk about the, the region, the Latin American region, how much does this jumble the political calculus down there? I mean, he was obviously a, you know, larger than life figure, very charismatic, I, all, all that, I get all that. What does this do for the political situation? We've known that Chavez is dying for several months. So the plan is already established. According to the constitution, the Venezuelan constitution, Nicolas Maduro, his heir apparent, will lead his party into elections which should take place within the next 30 days. The opposition is united behind a charismatic, young, energetic candidate, Enrique Capriles. But Enrique Capriles will face an uphill battle because the government will not give him equal time on the news media and the government will continue to spend those oil revenues on handouts to its followers. So Capriles will fight this election campaign, but it's very hard to win. Uh, D Diane Chavez, obviously a populist. Uh, a lot of people down there loved him very much so. But the economy has not been doing well. They had to devalue the boulevard a little while ago. That's obviously a sign of a struggling economy. What happens in Venezuela now? I mean, a huge oil producer, as you were talking about, talking about all the economic ties, what happens to that economy? In the short term, the government will continue to spend that oil money to gain the support of its followers. But afterwards, after the election campaign is over, the reality will hit. And the new president will have to bring the value of the Bolivar, the Venezuelan currency, into a realistic market field. It will also have to curb inflation. That is going to take a significant bite out of the economic livelihood of the ordinary Venezuelans. It's going to be tough for them. How they accept this will be very interesting to see because they've got nobody to blame but their hero, Chavez. Right. All right, Diane Negroponte, thank you very much. Appreciate the time.